So once you have these two files, the next thing to do is to simply open them. If you are not familiar with using a computer to open these files, you simply double click on them, okay? So you will right click twice, like fast, like this, and then the file will open, okay? Uh, so after opening this one, you'll go back to where you, you have saved the second file and then do the same thing, okay? So I've actually screwed up this one. So let me go to my downloads folder and uh, this is where I have the files and then I'll have to double click on this one to open it, okay? But I'm not going to do that since I've already done that, okay? So this is the instructions file and this is your working document, okay? Before you can begin doing anything on your working document, you need to enable editing, okay? Just click on this, enable editing. Voila. After doing that, you can edit your file, okay? So, you'll need to go to the instructions file to get the instructions to implement on this particular document, okay? So this is your instructions file and then you'll read step number one. In this case, it was telling you that you need to download and open the file EUP assessment 5.pptx from your Moodle group site. And uh, that is exactly what we have already done, okay? The next step is to open the first slide, add the missing information, due date, your name, surname, and student number. Okay, so after reading this, and remember this is worth five marks. Okay, you go back to your working document. Uh, this is your PowerPoint document. Okay, you, you edit that information. Okay, for example, this is assessment number, uh, number five, and then the due date for assessment number five is uh, 07 June uh, 2024, okay. Uh, if you've been paying attention, you'll realize that the code that they've given us here is not exactly EUP 1501. Uh, remember the instructions did not say we need to fix this okay so we are done with step number two okay let's go back to confirm that no we're not done we need to add your name surname and student number okay go back to your document okay then you use your backspace to delete all this information uh, since my name is Kali I'm just going to say Kali, uh, my surname is Tutas, I'm going to say Tutas, uh, make sure your name and uh, surname start with capital letters, okay, uh, since my student number is 2024, 20, uh, 20, okay. Then I'm actually done with step number two, and uh, we should move on now to step number three. Okay.